So I plan to start printing some uh, carbon fiber nylon, but I want to keep it as uh, moisture free as possible and as good as the AMS is at uh, keeping moisture out with the two packets of desiccant, I want a little bit extra, you know, just in case. It might not be needed, but why not? Um, and so I think Soft Fever and Printables like provide this cool little um, SDL here where apparently these can fit you can fit extra desiccant in here and place them quite easily in here. So I'm going to use that. And then these are uh, two remixes. And I've already got my desiccant. I've, I've dried it further, heated it up. So let's see how well this fits and works. Sorry, you might hear in the background now. The rat rig is leveling. So they're pretty small, so you can't fit too much um, in there, but it's better than nothing. And they're small so that they can actually fit in the uh, extra space in the AMS. So, pretty, pretty cool little files. And I think that is pretty good. Okay, moment of truth. Just like on the picture online, it, they do fit here, and they don't. Doesn't look like they will, you know, interfere with anything. I mean, yeah, like it's well past like uh, the rollers. Like it's not gonna, the filament's not gonna, filament spool's not gonna come out and touch these unless these hang back. Should be fine. Okay, that's it. So I've had this new setup with this de desiccant for just over a day now and you can see the moisture is down to 23% which is pretty good. I mean I got these you know dry box this is over here and it's down to this one's been here for a while and it's like packed full of desiccant and it's 19 so it's pretty close. Of course this is probably a better seal like there's you know there may be a, a little bit of uh, uh, moisture coming in through here. I'm not sure how airtight this is, but yeah, pretty good. Okay, and so this is uh, near the end of the video. I just thought I'd come over here and show you the uh, amazing SCL provided by Soft Beaver. There's already some remixes here. You can download it and try it yourself. I just noticed he uh, used glow in the dark filament. I wish I had done that. That's pretty fun. Um, and uh, yeah, also the uh, carbon fiber nylon I had uh, after two days, um, even though um, it was in a low moisture environment, it still absorbed my moisture. Um, just the nature of the film being, that type of film being very extremely hygroscopic and that the quality decreased and eventually I got blockages. And I actually have had another video, <laughs> all my blockages uh, in that video were because of the, uh, pretty much the, the carbon fiber nylon. So you can check that out. But uh, it was easy to resolve. Um, I'm glad this sold, slowed it down, but I had to use a food dehydrator, uh, this exact one. I just got a, a return one that was cheaper and you know ran it at um, 70 degrees C, the highest setting, 160 Fahrenheit for like nine hours. It lost two grams of uh, of weight, which I attribute to being the uh, moisture, and you know it printed just fine right after that. Okay, all right. Uh, hopefully this video has been entertaining, uh, useful, or both. And thank you for watching.